Hi, my name is Anne, and I work at the University of Iowa Breast Health Center and I'm here today to talk a little bit about how to fit a bra. Most women are walking around with probably a bra that they've had for a number of years and it might not be the most comfortable fit for them. And so most women could benefit from a professional fitting. Most department stores offer fittings at no charge and I think it's worth it to spend a little bit of time fitting a bra so that you can have better comfort. I'm going to talk about some basic fit uh, issues with bras. First of all, we'd like you to position the band or the most supportive part of the bra halfway between your shoulder and your natural waist. This is designed to help push the weight of the breast back onto the chest wall, which is there to actually carry the weight of your chest, not your shoulders and your neck, which most women are, are complaining is painful and uncomfortable. So by getting this length, you need to make sure that the straps will accommodate this lower distance. So you can lengthen the straps out so that you can pull the bra band itself down a little bit lower. You don't want it just underneath the shoulder blades, you actually want it even lower than that. Some other basics are that the side of the bra, or side of the bra should be flat against the side of your chest, and the front area between the cups should be flat against your breastbone. How do I know what size bra to buy? That's our next step. We're going to do some measurements that will help us kind of figure out where to start in fitting a bra. The first part measurement we want to make is right underneath the breasts themselves. This is called your chest measurement. It's a little bit hard to measure yourself, so if you can get a friend or again go have a professional bra fitting done, this would be ideal. So we go right underneath the breast tissue, and in her case she's an odd number. She's 29 and a half. So we're going to round that up to 30. And that's going to tell us what size bra band to start with. The second measurement is going to be around the fullest part of the bust. And in her case, that's 36. So we subtract that bust measurement from the band measurement and get a difference of 6. Each cup size is approximately 1 to 2 inches. So in her case, we probably start with a bra band size of 30 and a cup size of D. All things can be adjusted. Bras are a lot like shoes. You want to be sure that you're accommodating for the larger size if you have a variance, and most women do. And you want to be sure that within that size range, you're trying on different bras from different makers because they may be sized differently. We're going to bring in one of our models who's wearing her normal everyday bra, and we're going to talk about some issues that she might be having with that bra and how we could get a better fit. Charlie? Hi, Charlie. Hi. I'm Ann. Hi. I'm going to ask you a couple questions about the bra that you're wearing today. How long do you think you've had this bra? Uh, probably five to seven years. I don't know. Okay. And then do you think it's comfortable? Does it fit you well? No, it cuts in. But... Okay. And where do you think it, it bothers you the most? Um, probably up there. Up in the shoulders. shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. And you can kind of see you got this little groove going on in the shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have you just put your hands at your hips like okay. this. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to fit a, a bra, okay? okay? One thing is, I notice this is hiked up and, and high in the back. If we lengthen that down, you, you're getting kind of a bunched up area of tissue here, and you're, and you're putting a lot of pressure right in the middle part of your back. So what I'm going to do is just lengthen these straps and make them longer, okay? Okay. Some people think if they keep the strap really tight, it keeps it up here. But actually, if you have a little bit more length, you can pull this down. Okay. All right. You lose that, you know, kind of bunched up effect, and you're putting the pressure back onto your chest. Oh, okay. Now, another couple things that I noticed about this bra particularly, and I'm going to have you just turn a little bit sideways, okay. is you don't have enough coverage for, for your breast. You're just okay. basically supporting the very bottom half of the breast. But up here, it doesn't have any coverage whatsoever. A little more coverage is going to push the weight again back onto your chest. Okay. I notice that you're kind of flaring out a little bit on each side right here, where we'd really like that to be flatter. Okay. We'd also like a little bit of separation between the two breast mounds so that we get a little bit more support from your chest muscle. So we're going to have you try on a bra that we've pre-fitted for you. Okay. And then come back and tell us how that feels. Okay. Okay? All right. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about the difference in size from what you wore in today and what we fitted you with? Today I came in with a 40C okay. bra. And they fitted me with a 42D. Okay. Tell me a little bit about how this one feels different than the bra you were wearing. This one's really comfortable. I'm surprised. Yeah. It's okay. a lot more comfortable. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the positives and, and some of the things that I see differently in how this bra fits. Okay. First of all, you're, you've definitely got it in perfect position. You've got it halfway between your shoulder and your waist. Okay. You've got a nice flat line across your back. You've also got nice flat area between the breasts. And that's causing a little shift in how your chest 
carries the weight of the bust. Okay. It's pushing it back up onto the pec muscle, which is designed to do that. I'm going to have you turn it around from the side. And I just okay. want to look at one more thing I want to tell you about. Um, the bra itself is now fitted perfectly on the very last set of hooks, and that's really important because as a bra ages, the material in it starts to expand, and so you have to have some place to go to take up the slack. Oh, okay. So you want to use the additional sets of hooks to take that up as the bra gets older. Oh. Most women, if they wear their bras often, which I say two to five times a week, are probably going to need to switch their bras out every six months. If you're someone who has a drawer full of bras and maybe wears them one or two days a week, it's probably going to last you close to a year. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can even mark inside on the little tag, you know, when you purchased them, because you think you're going to remember, but you don't yeah. always remember. <laughs> but that's what you could do is write a, you know, a little permanent marker on the tag when you purchase the bra so that you can kind of say, oh, wow, these are a year old already, and just treat yourself cool. and get some good fitting bras. All right. Well, congratulations. I think you have a well-fitting bra. Thank you.